Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we are going to start today's DIY with this little red truck sign that I found on clearance from the 99 cent store. It does have the flag in the back as you can see it was for the 4th of July and it also came with the lights in it already. So what lit up were the stars in the flag and also the little headlight on the front of the truck. So what we are going to do is transform this into a fall little blue truck. And we're going to start by pulling the lights off the back. We're not going to remove them completely, but we are going to remove the flag. So I just want to take the lights from where they are and also this part of the little hanging twine that comes with the sign. And I'm being really careful because I don't want anything to break. I don't really work a lot with the 99 cent store MDF decor. So I wasn't quite sure how everything would react. So I was being just extra careful. Here I'm using my razor to score along where the flag is. And I just was not realizing that the 99 cent stores MDF decor is a lot thicker than the Dollar Tree decor. Dollar Tree decor, you can score it and it will break. This one, I had to take the little hacksaw out. I did get this hacksaw from Dollar Tree. It's my first time using it and it is a little flimsy. I don't think I can use it again after this project. It pretty much used up its life. <laughs> just trying to remove the flag but eventually it did break off it broke off unevenly as you can see but it's okay I tried initially to then score that little piece that was left on the back of the truck and break it off and then I realized that I actually could use it it's going to come in pretty handy so then I decided um, just to leave it there now I'm going to take this sanding block also from Dollar Tree and I'm going to sand the bottom of the sign just to try to lighten the paint up because I am going to paint over it and I want to fade this color out as much as possible. I'm going to use agave to paint the truck portion. But before I do, I want to go ahead and remove this little galvanized metal star. I did not remove the fender um, that runs along the bottom of the truck. I just removed the star and I'm just going to paint around the fender. So just with a little coaxing, the star came off. A little bit of the paper came off, but it's okay. It's gonna be covered up when we replace the star. And I used a small paintbrush from the Dollar Tree to go around where the fender is. I'm going to use a foam brush to paint the rest of the truck, but I just wanted to be very careful here. And so I'm using a smaller brush. I also want to be careful in the area here around where the light is going to come through for the headlight because I am going to keep that light there and the edges of this truck were unpainted so only the front had color so I am going to go ahead and use the foam brush to paint the edge all along the truck just like you see me doing there because I don't want any of that unfinished MDF to show and that includes there inside the window. Now I'm going to take celery from Waverly and I'm going to use this to paint the bottom of the sign or the bottom sign, I should say. Now 
And now using pumpkin from Ceram Coat. I found this stencil at Target right in the area where the paints are sold. And it actually came in a pack that had stencils for every occasion. And I'm using the stencil brush from the Dollar Tree. And this particular stencil is for October. It has Halloween and autumn themes on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the pumpkin paint to stencil two pumpkins on the sign, one on either end. Now I'm going to use this principle. I found this on Pinterest. I will link it for you below. I want to use the lettering from this principle, so I'm going to turn it over and then use a pencil. I'm just going to go back and forth with the side of the pencil over the part of the printable that I want to use, and that includes some of the words and also the arrow. Now I'm just going to place it back over the sign and using my pencil and some pressure I'm going to trace over the letters I'm just removing the top of the paper so it gives me more area to work with so I'm placing the letters where I would like them to be if you want to be extra cautious you could tape down the side so that the paper doesn't move while you're doing this And I'm just going to trace over the letters with the pencil on the right side of the paper. And this is a great way to get lettering on chalkboards or any other kind of sign that you want to use. And be sure to apply medium pressure to this because you do want the stencil to show up. So I zoomed in so you could see what it looked like. Now I'm going to add the arrow just using the same method. You could add more words, less, whatever you prefer for your own sign. And now I'm using a wet erase marker that has a fine tip to go ahead and go over the letters so that you can see them. You can do this with paint if you have a small enough brush or you can use the Sharpie oil paint markers. I did have my black one but I kind of put it through some things when I <laughs> was using it for my Lion King lantern. So before I started, I did take a picture of the red truck just for this purpose alone. I knew I was going to paint over the whole thing and I needed a reference picture for where the lines were on this truck. So I'm using the same wet erase marker and a clear ruler from the Dollar Tree and I'm just drawing the lines back on the truck just like they were when it originally came as a little red truck. So off camera, I did redraw the curve around uh, where the window is. And then I also added a little door handle to the door as well. So that's what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So 
So before we go any further, I'm going to take the gold oil base Sharpie marker and just go over the stems of the pumpkin. I didn't want the whole thing to be orange. You could use brown or green or whatever color you would like. And now I'm going to go over the sign again with the same sanding block. I do want to distress it a little bit. And now I'm taking Burnt Umber. Uh, this is the Burnt Umber from Ceram Coat, but I know other brands also make a Burnt Umber color. And I'm going along the edges and also lightly across the face of the sign to help age it and distress it. Now I'm going to turn it over and I need to hide the rest of the lights. So I just decided to tuck them underneath that little uh, part of the hanging string that's still there. And it is tight enough where it holds it perfectly. Now I'm going to go over the bottom sign one more time to really try to distress it, give it some age and some character. And it's finally time to glue back the galvanized metal star on the door. So I went back on the printable and I printed out a few more of them. This is the pumpkins with at 100% the size of the printable. And then I printed some at 37% and 27% just so I could get pumpkins in different sizes. And then I cut them out. And I'm taking this large craft stick from the Dollar Tree and the largest uh, set of pumpkins, I left them glued together. And I just want to hold it against the craft stick and kind of in the middle of the pumpkins. And then I'm going to bend the bottom of the pumpkins underneath the craft stick. I'm going to do that to all three pumpkins and I just printed this on regular paper. In fact, I think this is the printer paper that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It's the Jot brand of printer paper. Now I'm going to add a strip of hot glue to the craft stick and I'm going to glue the pumpkins to the craft stick just like that. And then I'm going to use a few dabs of hot glue on the back to glue down the part where the paper pumpkins fold over. And that's how it should look. So this is where that little strip of MDF that was left in the back is going to come in handy. It's going to hold up those pumpkins just like that. So I'm going to put some hot glue there and glue it down. Um, you could just use another craft stick instead of the little MDF strip if yours comes off cleanly. And then you could use this craft stick to glue that one too, if you know what I mean. I think you do. So now I'm just going to take all of these pumpkins that I printed out and I cut them out individually. The rest of them I cut out individually and I'm just going to place them around the truck because I want it to look like a truck full of pumpkins. So I turn them all different angles and all different ways and I give it a look like it is just brimming full Full of fall goodness and pumpkins.
All right, and this is the final result. I am so in love with this little truck. I was so happy that I found this at the 99 cent store. It's so adorable. It's so cute. I love the look of the pumpkins in the back. Even though they're printed on paper, I just love them. And the little headlight still comes on and you can turn it on at night. That would be great for the kids to do. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, leave a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. Until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.